folks, this is Jason from The Trust. I'm out here at Snyderville Basin Water Reclamation District today, checking out their shower and eye wash station. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make sure that these safety eye wash and shower stations work when you need them. Safety eye washes and showers need to be provided in areas where corrosive and other injurious liquids are used. Having quick drench facilities can significantly reduce the damage hazardous liquids can cause to your skin and eyes. You should be able to access the wash station within 10 seconds travel and not have to go through doors or change levels. If you ever have to use an eye wash station, make sure to rinse the chemicals for at least 15 minutes. Drench hoses can also help provide first aid in an emergency. Personal eye wash bottles don't meet the OSHA and ANSI requirements and are secondary to a plumbed or gravity eye wash station. Eye wash and shower stations need to be inspected weekly to ensure they function correctly. Inspect the area to ensure nothing is blocking the station. The station should be easily visible and have a sign identifying it. Test those plumb stations to ensure water will flow and that the water is clear. Water in stations that are not flowed regularly can become rusty. Shower stations should provide 20 gallons per minute and eye wash stations 0.4 gallons per minute for at least 15 minutes. The shower's flow should be 20 inches wide at 60 inches above the floor and eye wash flow should allow both eyes to be washed at the same time and both should operate without hands once they are activated. Part of inspecting your safety eye wash and shower stations is really getting down to their level and looking and inspecting this system to make sure it works. Hey folks, so I crawled under the counter today to uh, show you one really important part of this system and that's this mixing valve right here. It takes hot water and cold water and mixes it so your water that goes into your eyes to wash those chemicals out is at the right temperature so it doesn't burn or make it so uncomfortable that you can't, uh, can't stand to be in there long enough to wash the chemicals out. Gravity flow stations need to provide the same flow as plumb stations for 15 minutes, so make sure to verify they are full when you inspect. Document your inspections by filling out the card on the station. Repair any deficiencies immediately. Thanks to the folks at Snyderville Basin Water Reclamation District for allowing me to film at their facility. They have an outstanding safety program. Hey folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you learned a couple of things about safety eye washes and showers today. Now go out and have a safe day.